terrifies the enemies of our nation. The criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Hi, this is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about the delicious, easy to fix, and very storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. I've told you for years that eFoodsDirect has the best storable food on the planet. Now it's that time of year again, and their holiday special is here. They have two holiday price packs for you to put into your reserves for a secure future or to share with others. The first is a six-month bulk supply in 10 cans. And the second is a five-week supply of quick and easy-to-fix meals, including delicious bakery items shipped in heavy tote bags. Now, for a limited time, when you order two or more of these special holiday packs, you'll get free shipping on your entire order. Call now, 800-409-5633, or visit them at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. That's 800-409-5633, or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. of the reach of this radio broadcast. Muse, one of the number one rock bands in the world. You know, they're in the top five right now. You go to their website, and, and Bellamy has been on the show before. The only links they have are to InfoWars and Prison Planet on their news, recommended news section. And then I, the one time I had Bellamy on, I was so stupid, I didn't get his actual number. I got the Austin number and never got Bellamy back on. I want to get the Muse front man back on the transmission. Getting back to uh, the WikiLeaks situation briefly, and then I'm going to get into this bombshell info and then your phone calls. 
It's very simple. You've got to decide. Do you want to live in a free society or a society of tyranny? We didn't have government secrets until 1940s. And then with 1947, they set up the National Security Act. And the federal government was supposed to declassify everything every 10 years. Then they made it every 20. They said, oh, let us operate in total secrecy. We promise we won't ship drugs in. We promise we won't do insider trading or have you know, all sorts of scams running. Just trust us to have trillions of dollars uh, in the aggregate and everything will be fine. And now our country's bankrupt and offshore megabanks run our nation secretly. And they're telling us we owe them hundreds and hundreds of trillions of dollars that Congress has researched and has explained is owed by the banks, not by the people. So if we shut down the free speech of WikiLeaks and if we persecute media outlets that have reported on the leaks, then freedom is over and the press is dead in the West. And it's that simple. But on top of it, if criminal elements in the government want to have cybersecurity take over the web, want to pass legislation to start arresting bloggers and people that release information the government doesn't like, whether it's troops massacring people or insider trading, it doesn't matter. If we allow them to do that, if we allow them to set the precedent, they can get away with anything. And that's what's happening here. We need more transparency, not less transparency. But of course, the government and, and the criminal elements within it that are at, right at this time trying to take the web over, trying to openly end free speech, trying to pass these draconian laws to persecute people, magically an organization we know funded by U.S. government, filled with CIA assets on record, filled with high-level George Soros people, releases a bunch of information, most of it that's a bunch of regurgitated propaganda. Well, just because something comes from the State Department, it's supposedly true. Some of the most brainwashed people are government. You ought to see the stuff the military and police have sent me. Well, you have seen a lot of it. Uh, the different reports and brainwashing they're given by the feds where they demonize the Constitution, the founding fathers, gun ownership, tell cops if somebody's a libertarian, they're a terrorist. I mean, it's a bunch of baloney. And they're classifying everything now. They've made all the TSA workers uh, be under secret security clearances now. So they can't speak out and defend themselves or talk about the things they've seen. They can't complain about radiation exposure from the machines. They can't unionize properly and say they don't want to stick their hands down people's pants. I talked about that months ago when they made the TSA workers secret government agents, and now they're in the news complaining that they can't speak up for themselves in the workplace because they're under national security. That's what all this is about. It's a license to be engaged in criminal activity. We've played the clips of former Fed chairman Greenspan on Lair News Hour saying, look, we're the fourth branch of government. We're private. Congress cannot control us. We can do whatever we want. Because you say so? The World Trade Organization, a private group set up 15 years ago, has more power over our trade than Congress? I mean, here's a New York Times article, and this leads into what I'm about to cover. Here's a New York Times article today. Now, listen to this. We would talk about this years ago and be laughed at. It's the Plunge Protection Team, and it's a private group of bankers with government power. Now, I'd talk about this 10, 15 years ago and get laughed at, even though I had all the documents. Now it's in the New York Times today by Lewis Story. A secretive banking elite rules trading in derivatives. Now, derivatives, literally, in almost every case, are totally fake, counterfeit financial instruments. That's why you're having to pay trillions of dollars into secretive banks, or they will destroy the economy. They will pull the plug and bring in martial law. That's what Henry Paulson threatened Congress with two years ago in October, over two years ago, 26 months ago. We broke that. We had congressmen on about the martial law threat, and for three days the media made fun of us saying it wasn't true and that I wasn't interviewing real congressmen until it came out in the Associated Press. People can't believe this. It's like 12, 14 years ago when I told you every person in the Western world has their blood taken secretly and put in Pentagon and U.N. databases. Now people sued because they heard my show here in Austin. They got the documents and found out it is a Pentagon DNA database. 
That's what I'm talking about. Stop being so gullible. Here's the New York Times telling you how great it is that there's a secretive banking elite that controls the stock market and derivatives and manipulates everything for your safety, of course. What industry is the only industry making record profits right now? Record. In the history of banking, it's the big six mega banks. All the other banks, massively going under. Second biggest uh, collapse of banks since the Great Depression. I mean, there's scores of banks going belly up every week. And who controls the regulators that come in and shut them down? Some are even healthy banks. It's the six mega banks. And they say that here in the article. Aren't we lucky we have these guys? 1.5 quadrillion, 1,500 trillion dollars. Conservatively, impossible to pay. We don't owe it, but they're saying we're going to pay it. Reading the statements of Mr. Cahoon, if that's how you pronounce it. In fact, guys, for me, pull up the... Um, Head of the uh, the uh, head of the Irish Central Bank, that BBC headline: Foreign banks to own um, Ireland. He comes out and says, "Oh, we want to be run by foreign banks." And then it comes out, just like in Iceland and in Greece, almost all the debt is not owed by the people; they're not insolvent. It's owed by the banks. The banks create this derivatives bubble of 1.5 quadrillion, buy up most of the infrastructure, then tell the public on the way down in the Ponzi scheme, "You've got to pay this Ponzi scheme off." These guys make Bernie Madoff, whose son just committed suicide yesterday. If you believe that, I got a bridge I'll sell you. Uh, you believe Ken Lay the day before he was going to go to prison had a heart attack? Mm -hmm. Sure. You believe Easter bunnies went to the moon? A secretive banking elite rules trading and derivatives. Oh, this is the New York Times. On the third Wednesday of every month, the nine members of the elite Wall Street Society gather in midtown Manhattan. The men share a common goal. A, to protect. Oh, aren't they? They're like Superman. They go into phone booths and change out of their business suits into Wonder Woman outfits. Now, the men share a common goal to protect the interest, like the NASDAQ founder, Bernie Madoff, or Ken Lay. They, they want to protect you. They care. They're so... The men share a common goal to protect the interest of big banks in the vast market for derivatives, one of the most profitable and controversial fields in finance. Uh, yeah, it was these head bankers that controlled the government in 99 under Clinton that got the rules changed to do this. And now they control the market secretly. It's totally rigged. But they tell you to go invest in it. And then we get the Timberwolf Goldman Sachs emails where they're calling their, their customers moron idiots and we're selling them total bleep. I can't say it on air. And ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, and all your taxes are going to be paid to them. The men share a common goal to protect the interest of big banks in the vast market for derivatives, one of the most profitable and controversial fields in finance. They also share a common secret. The details of their meetings, even their identities, have been strictly confidential. Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America. Oh, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Key info coming up. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now, new socialist legislation only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct.